Hey everybody, this video weather notes deals with how dry it gets inside whenever it's really cold outside. That indoor relative humidity can be quite low in the winter time and we feel it. Our, our skin can feel cracked and very dry. Uh, we can also feel that static electricity and get a shock whenever we touch an object or touch someone else. That's the dry air that we get inside during the winter time. Here's a very simplified way of thinking about it. The air inside, warmer air, has a, uh, has a higher capacity for water vapor compared to the cold outside air. One way we can think about it is, let's say the air here in the weather office, 70 degrees is our temperature typically, and let's say it holds uh, this much water vapor. Now when we go outside, it's an entirely different story. Now outside in the colder air, again this cold air just does not have the capacity to hold as much water as it does inside. So we can visualize the capacity of the water out here as let's say the size of this little box. When we take that cold air back inside, that's very little moisture that we're bringing back inside and that leads to dry air. I'll show you. Now that cold air comes back inside and it has such a lower capacity to hold water that it may only have let's say this much water vapor. Alright now let's compare that with our inside air. Remember inside the office we have this much water vapor because the warmer air has a higher capacity for water vapor. Outside we only have this much water vapor. Look at the small percentage. That's just a tiny bit of water vapor compared to the capacity inside. So whenever we bring that cold air from the outside in, it is just a small amount of water vapor compared to what the inside air can hold. So no wonder it gets drier and drier inside as we bring that cold air in from the outside. You might ask yourself, well wait a minute, I'm not standing here the whole time with the door open during the winter time allowing cold air to come in. But we do walk in and out from the outside and also don't forget we do get some leakage by the windows and so on in our house. A lot of times that colder outside air can come inside. So to battle that we need to use a humidifier on our furnace to add a little bit extra moisture to the air and ideally we want to keep that inside relative humidity between about 30 and 40 percent.